All right, folks, we're back. You're back with us. Thank you very much for making that decision. We're so glad you did. We promised you before the break that B.J. Murphy would be here, and he is. The name is synonymous with uh, leadership. He is former mayor of the great city of Kinston. He's involved in the, in the uh, medium of uh, opinion uh, in, in the airwaves and on television networks and so forth in many ways, and we'll get into that as much as time will allow us so to do. BJ, good to have you back with us. It's always, I feel like I'm home when I'm hanging well, out with you. You said that last time. <laughs> yes, and I appreciate that. Uh -huh. Congratulations. Assuming the duty is publisher for North Carolina Political News. Tell us about that. So, uh, NC Political News, uh, a friend of mine uh, down in uh, Brunswick County, his name is Frank Williams. He's no stranger to, to the political circles County of our state. He is. And uh, incoming chair or president of the North Carolina Association of County Commissioners reached out about a week before the election. He said, look, I know things are a little busy, but when you get when you get done with the election, let's talk. I, I want to talk to you about ncpoliticalnews.com. And we had a great conversation about it. Uh, he had uh, a couple thousand subscribers to his uh, news network, and we just thought it, f it fit within our properties with what we're trying to do, where we want to grow as a business. Right. And uh, so it made a lot of sense to acquire that. We've redone the logo, redone the website, redone the newsletter, and looking forward to big things there. Oh, big things is right. Mm -hmm. Now I want to ask you about the uh, organization here, and a lot of people – uh, Magic Mile Media, for yes. example. Now, who, who, what is, what, so who is Magic Mile Media? Great question. So, Magic Mile Media was a company <laughs> I formed four years ago. And actually, you know, when you think about bad things that happened to you, Reese, I mean, Hurricane Matthew came in and absolutely devastated a lot of eastern North Carolina. Yeah. And during that time, I had to do some self-reflection and try to become more self-aware, I guess. And I realized that two things I really loved doing were the business b business relationships, B2B networking, as also social media. So I started Magic Mile Media with that premise to help small businesses kind of navigate social media. Right. And uh, two years later, uh, that same business uh, started New Snooze, but I would have only started New Snooze. Uh, I, I would never start a news news had I uh, continued being the mayor. By losing the mayor's race, I started news there news. You go. And uh, now, now, four years into it, we've required a, another news property. So, Magmile Media does social media, live streaming stuff, a lot of fun video related stuff. But then, uh, news news reports local news, Lenore Green and Jones County, all digitally. It's all free. NC Political News will be a statewide news site that, again, will be no pop-up ads and uh, completely free to our subscribers. It, I, and I liken ncpoliticalnews.com to, if you think about WREL, News Observer meets the news news platform, website, live streaming, uh, a newsletter. That's how we're going to tell the political news across our state. Yeah, yeah. And it's powerful. It's a, and news. it's a lot of fun because there's, there's always something going on. <laughs> It, it really, that's right. What uh, things you wouldn't have imagined, and mm -hmm. suddenly there they are. Well, when you think about, it, you got a governor, lieutenant governor. In fact, th they will be in different parties again, as well as the congressional seats and the Senate races that will, will happen in the next two years. People are already jockeying for that. Uh, to what happens on the uh, with casinos for Cherokee, the the Indians, you know, that just all these different things make up our state, and it's such a uh, eclectic makeup. Well, it's fascinating, really. Oh, it's great. It's, it's always something to report on in in uh, political world in North Carolina. Now, your lovely wife Jessica is staying busy. Of she course. is. She's a teacher, uh, self-contained, uh, autistic uh, teacher here with Lenore County Public Schools, and. Our girls are uh, eight and twelve yeah, now. About the girls. I mean, yeah, I mean, I remember. They seem to be growing so quickly. When, when I, I was sworn in, you would have thought I was like a kid at fifteen, but <laughs> I was a parent by that time, and uh, it's amazing to watch Grayson. Uh, she was one when I was sworn in. Now she's twelve, and wow. and uh, Catherine wasn't even born when I was first elected, and mm -hmm. now she's eight and uh, doing great things in school. So ready for them to be in school full time. I will tell you that. <laughs> I, I am. Oh, they are ready too. I oh, think. absolutely. Uh, yeah. The, the ready for Christmas break too. But. Hey, let me ask you. That makes me gives me a chance to delve into something else mm -hmm. here, and that is the vaccine that has come out now, right uh, for this uh, COVID nineteen. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you feel about that? I, I'm I'm excited about it because it's if amazing, nothing else, really. it it should bring some stability and reduce some fear because there's been a lot of fear mongering from our. Uh, uh, public health officials and governors, uh, including our own, and it's really frustrating to a lot watch of it that. Was political. Well, yeah, I mean, just like closing the bars at 10 p.m., it's like you can't catch COVID at 10:01 or, or you know 9:59. I don't know, but uh, you, just the idea and the, the fact is, most of the deaths and and most.
most of the COVID cases are in nursing homes, not around no, bars. No, it's just they're already un unreal how they picked and choose winners in this. Oh, yeah. It's really yeah. a, a small business have really suffered. And uh, but, you know, hopefully the vaccine will give us some uh, some uh, some uh, infrastructure, some uh, a solid ground to stand on and say, hey, we're, we are going to be OK. It's amazing how fast it's happened, too. Yes. Do you feel that some of the positions that have been taken during this eight, ten months about so-called, I dare use that word deliberately, mm -hmm. uh, political leaders uh, has been done in order to have more control I, yes people. i mean without yes i mean I, I would tell you there was about a month in the very beginning where i was like okay i, I like this crisis leadership it's going well and then as soon as we started this rolling out of uh we need to go into phase one how how delayed it was there was a lot of challenges there it it really started getting political to the point that it seemed that politics has has uh, served the governor and some state officials better than what may be in the absolute best interest of people being able to make up their own minds uh, and Gavin make their Newsom own decisions out in california there's a, a move underway to recall him from the office because the dictatorial uh, measures that he's taken are just about unbelievable. And, and it makes you feel that <clears throat> there's some governors, and I think I could mention New York too, mm -hmm. and maybe except, and no doubt several others, who really, I hate to say it this way, but have kind of rejoiced in the way that they've been able to control yeah, it's, the masses. It's been one of those darn if you do, darn if you don't. They don't really know how to contain and how to slow the spread. And so they're grasping at straws and sometimes doing going overboard with being overburdened with their regulations. Name one state trooper or one police department or sheriff that is going to stop somebody on the side of the road at 10 one like because <laughs> they, they went past the curfew. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's not going to happen. It makes zero sense. Most people are at home anyway during that time of course look at um, one of my sisters was uh shopping in uh, uh johnson county this weekend at target she said she actually didn't go in because not only was the parking lot full but the overflow parking lot was full right in the middle of the afternoon the sunday afternoon are free yeah so it's, it's like it, you don't need to worry about it at 3 a.m you need to worry about it at 3 p.m <laughs> and i just how they pick and choose rules it just there's no science and data that they can show me to tell me that they're in the right on a lot of those those conversations as i mentioned to you off camera changing the subject a little bit mm -hmm. here <clears throat> and i've known you fortunately for me a number of years even though you're very young but i've known you for a number of years i've never known you not to at least seem to be optimistic uh well i appreciate that yeah I, I think some of that comes from i have a pretty good idea of where i'm going or what i want to see done and so there's always a project to work on there's always something that's ex that gets me excited about yeah. whether it's the future of kinston or the future of my business or my kids you know any of that i'm, I'm always looking for that next thing so yeah i guess i am a kind of I, I like to be real and point out some flaws oh, yeah, but yeah. i'm also just as honest about how I see things going and how we can get there and, and do it in a positive way. I mean, your your positivity is contagious, Reese, and, and hopefully that's 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 poured on me just a little yeah. bit. One day at a time. Yes, sir. One day at a time. Mm -hmm. Looking ahead, what do you see in the world of communication? Uh, it's going to be more video. There's going to be more social media. I believe it's that amazing, really. It, it, it really is. I mean, you may think about how these devices, how how these weren't even invented, you know, uh, 30 years ago and yeah. how how we rely on them so much now. Uh, oh, yeah. I think that is the, the cell phones and smart technology is really going to uh, rule the day of how we communicate with e each other for better or worse. We, we're going to have to continue <laughs> adapting to how technology works. So um, anyway, I, I still think think a good handshake, a good hug, a good belly to belly uh, lunch meeting is still relevant, uh, but communication will happen much faster. As and like you mentioned about your technology. children, it's time to get back into the classroom, right? Yes, I agree. They That's need, they need to, to be in the classroom. That's going to happen mm -hmm. real soon. Anything you'd like to add, sir? I just want to say Merry Christmas to you and Thank to your family. Appreciate your call. Appreciate what you do at, at News News and, and uh, submitting those columns to us. It's always fun to get a column from Reese, especially as you get to the, the joke. I always love the meat of what you have to say, but when you get to the joke at the end, if you haven't if you haven't read one of Reese's columns, I would I would implore oh, you to do so. Thank you, BJ. Yes, sir. BJ Murphy, a leader in our community and beyond, folks. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.